I am Anil Kumar. We are exploring limits of trigonometric functions. We have a very good question here. We need to find limit as x approaches 0 for tan x minus sin x divided by sin cube x. Now, if I substitute 0 for x, what do I get? I get tan 0 minus sin 0 divided by sin cube of 0. And that is 0 minus 0 over 0, which is indeterminate form. And therefore, here we need to somehow simplify the given expression to cancel out the common terms in the numerator and denominator and then find the limit, right? So that's the strategy. So whenever you have tan, you could always write tan as sine over cos and then simplify the trigonometric expression. So we could write this as limit x approaches 0. So I write tan as sine x over cos x minus sine x over sine cube x. Now we can take cos x as common denominator. So what we get here is limit x approaches 0. So what we have here is sine x minus sine x cos x divided by cos x everything divided by sine cube x. This could be written as limit x approaches 0 taking sine as common. So we have sine x 1 minus cos x divided by this comes down so we get cos x times sine cube x. Now sine x and sine x cancels so you are left with sine square x. You could write this as limit x approaches 0 1 minus cos x divided by cos x times sine square x. Correct? So what we did was we just cancelled the sine x. It becomes square. Okay. Now let's take it to the right side and simplify it further. So what we have here is, now sine square x could be written as 1 minus cos square x. So we'll write this as limit x approaches 0. We have 1 minus cos x in the numerator. Denominator could be written as cos x times 1 minus cos square x. Now, 1 minus cos square x could be factored, right? So we have limit x approaches 0. Numerator is 1 minus cos x divided by cos x times difference of squares, right? 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x. That gives you limit x approaches 0. Now, 1 minus cos x and 1 minus cos x cancel out. So you have 1 over cos x times 1 plus cos x. Now you can substitute x as 0. So you get 1 over cos 0 times 1 plus cos 0. As you know, cos 0 is 1. So you get 1 over 1 times 1 plus 1, which is 1 over 2. So the limit of this function is is half right so we get this answer as equal to half so that is how we could find limit for this trigonometric function i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best